Hello everybody, hello and welcome to a new video. Today I'd like to have a look at my backlight of my bicycle. It works, it works quite good I have to say, but the parking light function is out of order sadly. And I want to have a look inside, maybe we can find a root cause, maybe we can find something to repair. And yeah, so let's have a look inside. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's quite obvious. Um, the batteries are corroded, old, and yeah. Uh, I think we have to exchange these batteries. I think I, 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 I'm struggling a little bit if they are in good order any longer. So um, yeah, let's replace them, clean the contacts, and yeah, maybe then it's working again. Let's have a look. So see you at the bench. So welcome to my bench and as you can see this batteries are quite heavily corroded so let's first test this light i have here a small little power bank we can see the power consumption and yeah, let's see yeah it works uh, next to nothing to in the power consumption um, but it also turns off as soon as we disconnect power yeah okay so and let's have a look at these batteries these are are these rechargeable batteries no they are not so there it says do not connect improperly charge or disposal in fire uh, dispose of fire so um, these are normal one time use batteries and i wonder if this light maybe charges these batteries. If it does, then yeah, it's no wonder that these batteries are corroded. So um, I think I will take pictures of this circuit board and in the style of Big Clive, reverse engineer it. Um, I'll be back in a moment. So here we have the circuit board one side and the other with the LED but flipped. So these three holes correspond to these three holes. Uh, if you want to reverse engineer it yourself, you can do so. And uh, here we have the circuit diagram. And these are the terminals from the generator, V plus and V minus. And here we have a general load capacitor, R5. Uh, which is optional. Then we have a full bridge rectifier made of these two diode packages, double diode packages. And uh, then we have a potential divider that charges this capacitor made out of this R3 with one kilo ohm and this R4 with 4.7 mega ohm. And yeah, this charges this capacitor and as soon as it reaches the voltage of the transistor, of this transistor, the transistor will turn on and will turn on the LED. And the LED will be connected to power via this R1, this diode, to the LED, the transistor, this R6, and then back to the minus rail. And yeah, in parallel to this, we have the battery, which is connected via this R2 with 10 O to the LED, to the transistor, to the R6, and then back to the battery via this link on the other side. And on the circuit board, on the, on the diagram, we can see that the battery is charged when cycling. So when the generator is producing electricity, the electricity not only flows to the LED, but also to the battery. So if you're using one-time use batteries in, these, in this light, uh, that's, not, that's not a good idea because then these batteries are charged. And if you charge batteries that are not made for recharging, then they will look like this. And um, 
Yeah, therefore, I think it is best using nickel metal hydride cells for this. I would recommend something like Aniloop Light, so cells that are made for continuously be charged as you don't need a very high capacity for this for these type of, of lights. And uh, let's check if that works. So uh, bring back the power bank and put on some power. Yes, it works. And it also stays on. Yeah. So I think this is a successful repair and quite interesting to reverse engineer as well. Um, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comment sections below and I'll happily answer it here. And otherwise, thank you very much for watching. Wish you a great time. See you next time. Goodbye.